Welcome to this Blackpool Music School video all about the ukulele. In this video I am using my DV2 ukulele. If you wish to purchase a ukulele like this, I will post a link in the description down below. In this video we'll be moving on from the basic cowboy chords that most people use. Cowboy chords are used is a name used on guitar where you have a lot of open strings like the C chord. We'll be moving on from that and using more, shall we say, more progressive chords. So, let's tune up and let's get playing. For this video, I am tuned G, C, E, A. That's G, the string nearest your chin, C, E, A. G, C, E, A. This tuning can be used on soprano, concert and tenor ukuleles. These same techniques will work on a baritone uke but the name of the chords will change. But the same chord positions and chord variations are the same, they'll just have different names. So let's get started. Cowboy chords, as I mentioned earlier, are chords that feature open strings and they are handy, they are great to get you start playing like the C chords, you've only got to fret one string, the F chord, you've only got to fret two, and the G7, you fret three, and the A minor, you fret one, one string again, so three are open. So we're going to move on from that and play chords where we are playing all the strings. So, we'll start with the first shape. If you bar at the third fret, this is the note one, two, three, and we're barring just before it and put the A shape on and strum down. So from the top, 5th fret, 4th fret, then 3rd and 3rd. 5th, 4th, 3rd, 3rd. So it like that. I'm borrowing at the 3rd and putting them two on there. That is a C chord. That is a C chord, the same as playing that one. Apart from this time, you can control how long the note rings for by relaxing the grip on this, so you can go whereas this one, if you play it it just rings on till you strum again with this one you want to deaden the note quickly you just relax your hand, you don't take your hand off because you get the ring, you just relax your hand so the strings aren't touching the fretboard or the frets and the hand is not releasing them so you just strum down relax down, relax. I'm just strumming down with my thumb for now, but if you use your finger, it's the same thing. So that's a C chord. If we take this finger off, the ring finger, that is a C7. The same as playing that. C7, there or there. Now, if we put the shape back on, the A shape, and take the middle finger off, that is C minor. So it's 5, 3, 3, 3. So you're barring at the 3rd, and this finger, your ring finger, at the 5th fret of the G string. That I'll move this, tuck this finger out of the way, though. You won't do that, really, because it catches this string. So imagine that one's not there, 5th fret. C minor. So from one shape we've got C, C7 and C minor. We get the name of this chord from the fret here. So you've got A, A sharp, B, C. So whatever note is here is the name of the chord you're playing. So there it's a C because that note there is the C note. Where this shape comes useful is you can play some chords that you really would struggle to play using cowboy chords. So if we do the same thing again but this time at the 4th fret, and so you're barring at the 4th, A shape. That is C sharp. It's also got another name which I'll come on to later. So that's C sharp. Take this finger off, C sharp 7. Put this finger back, take that one off. C sharp minor. Now you'd struggle to play that in normal first position. So you've got C sharp, C sharp 7, 
C sharp minor. If we were to move this up to the fifth fret, this is now D. Remember, C, C sharp, D. This is the note we're barring on, so it's a D. Bar the fifth fret, A shape, D. D7, D minor. So as you can see, you can play, this is my ukulele. Depend on how long your fretboard is, will depend on how many notes you can go down the neck. This hasn't got a very long fretboard before getting to the body. You might have more frets. So the possibilities depend on your fretboard. I will be honest, the further you go towards your other hand, the gaps in the frets do get smaller. So if we were to bar at the seventh fret, that's the seventh, this is an E, e chord shape because that is an E. A shape, so you're barring at the seventh, a shape, E, take that finger off, E minor, put that finger on, E7. So as you can see, you can play a lot of chords with one shape. So you get three chords per shape. Now, this is where it, it can be useful. This is C, third fret. This is D, the fifth fret. This note in between has two names. If you're going to order your other hand, it's always a sharp, C sharp. If you're going from this hand back towards the fretboard, towards the tuning pegs, peg head, it's a flat, D flat. So that's C, that's D. This note at the fourth can be C sharp or D flat. Just watch for that on chord books, because sometimes it'll say D flat. You might not think you know the shape, but it's really C sharp under another name. It depends what key you're in and stuff like that, so try not to let that worry you. But each note, generally, can have a sharp or a flat relative to it. B doesn't, because B goes into C and D goes into F, so there's no gap between them two. But on some notes, it can be a sharp or flat depending which direction you're going. So that's the first set of bar chords I'm going to show you. As you see, from one shape, a bar and the A shape, you've got your major chord, your minor chord, and your seventh chord, which is nice to have from one shape. Now you can also control how long that note rings for. If you want it to ring long, just hold the chord down. If you want to shorten it, just relax the hand. That's all you do. So, I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Blackpool Music School. The more subscribers we get and the more likes we get, the more videos we will post and the more our channel will grow. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you found it useful. So until next time, take care, keep playing, keep practicing and of course, goodbye.